CBD and THC are uh, ligands or they are um, molecules that attach to receptors in what's called the endocannabinoid system of the human body. The endocannabinoid system is the biggest system of receptors, and it is ubiquitous throughout the body. It is everywhere. CB, the CB1 receptors are predominant in the brain, and the CB2 are predominant in the immune system and the external, you know, the periphery of the body. THC will attach mostly to CB1, and, and then the CB2 is regulated more by CBD. Okay? So what does the endocannabinoid system do? It's effectively the regulator of every other system. Eat, sleep, relax, forget system, we call it. So if your endocannabinoid system is not running optimally, your other systems are allowed to get too hot or too cold. The endocannabinoid system is sort of like the central processing unit that keeps everything kind of even keel because the body likes to be Goldilocks. It just wants it just right. You don't want too much of anything. You don't want too little of anything. So a lot of people are what we call endocannabinoid deficient, and that's why CBD and THC work so well. So they attach to these receptors because you're not making enough of your own 2-AG or you're no, enough anandamide or, palma, or PEA, palmitoyl ethanolamide. You're not making enough of this on your own, mostly because you don't have the correct nutrients to do it. And everybody's under too much oxidative stress and inflammation to do it. So when you take these external ligands that attach to the endocannabinoid receptor, it decreases inflammation, decreases oxidative stress. CBD, the way the molecule is structured, is actually an effective, it'll take an, an um, errant or single unpaired electron and attach it to itself. So it's an awesome antioxidant. It functions almost like vitamin E and vitamin C, but it's a bit stronger. Um, so it'll scavenge these free radicals from oxidative stress that damage the cells and damage proteins and DNA. That's one way it works. THC is similar. THC attaches to the brain endocannabinoid system mostly, and it will decrease the brain's ability to perceive neuropathic pain and other pains. THC is awesome for chronic nerve-based pain. I mean, it's, in my opinion, way more effective than any narcotics and way safer. Um, CBD, similarly. THC and CBD together gives you what's called the entourage effect. So anytime you take plant-based medicine or natural medicine, you got to start thinking of it differently than the way that you're used to thinking about drugs. Drugs started because it's a whole industry of patent-based mass manufacturing of single molecules, okay? You can't patent natural medicine. There's no single molecule in natural medicine. Like, like if you eat basil, you're getting a bunch of phytochemicals, right? If you eat an orange, you're not just getting vitamin C, you're getting other phytochemicals. So CBD and THC work well together. They actually work better together than they do apart if that makes sense. So they enhance each other because they, they have slightly different functionalities in the endocannabinoid system that makes the endocannabinoid system a more effective regulator for you and a more effective antioxidant system, or the CBD is more effective antioxidant.